but the US dollar just keeps getting stronger. So over that time, over that time, since the US dollar keeps getting stronger, you're making less money. Maybe that's probably what I was thinking about. That sounds a lot less complicated. Instead of just like a snapshot of a conversion rate. Select a talent and it's more just like attack. what has been happening is the US dollar just keeps getting stronger and stronger. Fighting is what I do. And then you lose money because the US dollar is getting stronger and you're dealing with Canadian stuff that's like in a fixed rate. Yeah, that sounds way less complicated and, and also makes way more sense to me. I think that's what I was getting confused about. Ooh, would love to hear that, Mad Universe. A week's worth of YouTube videos, you take those. Battle commencing. Does Alarak beat Genji? Like what? In in like like one v one? I don't know, that's a toss up. That's a very skilled based matchup. Depends on your build too. In a solo lane you should beat Genji just because you have sustain and he doesn't. But one v one it could go either way. Ah, oh, they're four v fiving. You only lose money if you convert at the wrong time. Yeah, but I think the way companies work is they just have like some standard process. They just convert their money to USD like standardly at the end of every like whatever quarter or something. I'm trying to figure out if I want block, but they have a Genji, so probably not. Let's just go with normal build. <laughs> I do actually negative damage. Like actual negative damage before level 7. This is so sad. That was Alex Solo Lane. We're doing the Valyria Dono this game. I tried to do Alex Solo Lane last game, but we got kicked out of the solo lane, so it ended up being Alarak. Not solo lane. All you know is you made a ton by converting to Japanese Yen when it was 145 to 1, normally it's 100 to 1. So you, so you converted all your money into the Yen when it was worth... And then you converted it back? Wait, so how much did you make? Like 40%? That's pretty good. Kinda pog. Is that 40? Or is that like 33? 33%? Still pretty pog though. Yeah, there's also going to be a fee, but if 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 the gap is that big, he made oh, well, he made good money for sure. That's a big gap. Time for you to die. Vanished, cowards. All right. I'm just clearing Looks this. Like I want level seven. Really, just don't do damage before seven. Vision camp's really nice too, if we can get one. These vision camps give so much XP actually, for how easy they are to do. Actually, a ton of XP. Don't think I want to do this right now though. This guy's already like, trying to mess with me. Oh, that's kind of awkward. Oh, nice, he missed. No longer awkward. Came awkward because I was doing negative damage, but we got there. Silenced! Oh my god, he's still alive. Select a talent. 
Another Valir game? Yeah, this one is a more traditional one though. We're just off laning. Should be more easy to win this one. You wish you capitalized in NVIDIA when 3000 series came up. You thought it would go up, but never to that degree. And not when all the crypto stuff happened. See, the trick is to be like me. I think I bought NVIDIA like 8 years ago, and for like at least 4 years, that shit didn't move. Maybe more than 8 years ago. I remember in college, I just bought some NVIDIA whenever I could, because I was like, you know... Hey, computer game good. Computer game big, bigger in 10 years? Or smaller? Bigger. Has to be bigger, right? And I was like, yeah, bigger. So I bought some NVIDIA. Then it didn't move for ten for 5 years, and I was like, dude, why, why is this shit not moving? It's weird, man. Why is it not moving? I felt hella stupid because it wouldn't move. Stupid stock wouldn't move for like five years. So I asked myself again. But computer game bigger or smaller? And the answer was still bigger. So I just held, held on to it. And then like eight years later, it like increased a lot. I made it. I made it to the promised land. It took eight years, but we got there. How about Tesla going from seventy to twelve hundred dollars? Oh yeah, I did that too. That one I did a little more in depth though. That one was I did a little bit more research. How do you research? Oh, you know, for Tesla, it was all, it was very interesting. For Tesla, it was like, I think I hit a really good time for the Tesla thing, because I, I was buying right before that shit skyrocketed, but um, it was really interesting. It was not like numbers kind of research per se, too. It wasn't like I was like, you know, deep diving into the numbers that makes your brain hurts. But that one, I was more just like, I just, you know, by then, I, I, by then I had already gotten in the habit of like, stonking, you know? I was already stonking by then, so, so I was like in the habit of just watching these videos on YouTube where people talk about the stonks and what they think and stuff. So I just watched a lot of videos. And it was like during a time when, when, when Tesla like fell a lot or something. I don't know. Back then it was like it used to be like $400 and then it fell to like $200. This was before like 50 stock splits though. So like present day value would probably be closer to like, I don't know. Maybe it was like $100 and it fell to $50 in, in the current price stock terms or something, you know. I was just watching a bunch of stock videos about people talking about it and the people that were like for you know for tesla just sounded so much more reasonable than the people that were like against tesla it was like five years ago or something that company was still losing money but yeah, I don't know. I was just like, the people that was for Tesla just sounded logical, sounded reasonable, you know, they... It was like, oh, 
This company made 50 electric cars this year, and then they made 100 this next year, and now they made 150. But the price is lower than what it was three years ago, and we're making like 150 cars this year, but only it's lower than when it was making 50, and it's projected to keep doing this and that. And, you know, it just sounded reasonable and like fairly accurate. And then I was listening to the people that were like, you know, against Tesla. And this was when I didn't have a position at all, you know, so I was very neutral. I was just listening for fun. And a lot of the people that were against having Tesla, they're just like... They're just like, this stock is a scam. It's going to zero. This, they're, they're going to be bankrupt. There is no demand for this vehicle whatsoever. And then I look, it's like, but, but people are buying the car. What do you mean there's no demand? It's like, they're going to run out of demand. Like, next quarter, there's going to be nothing. You know, it was just weird. I was just like, the people that I listen to on, like, uh, just just for fun, you know, on those news networks, like, every, every argument that was, like, really against buying Tesla back then just reminded me of, like, like a raging storm leaguer where they just like don't make any sense you know but they got plenty of say anyways it was literally like that that's why i initially bought it and i was just like hmm it is worth less than it was like three years ago it's kind of cheap right now and all these people that are saying don't buy it sound like really dumb to me i was like i was it was it was not normal dude. it was not normal like not normal dumb it was like really really weird dumb like like transcended dumb you know? that's how that's how i originally did it. Like, man like these people are one side seems so much more logical than the other side Are we winning? Close enough, could be worse. Enemy fire. Any specific channels? Um, one channel I like to watch was called Financial Education. That was probably one of the ones that used to talk about Tesla the most. That was like pretty sensible. It's literally just called Financial Education. He doesn't talk about it as much anymore, but uh, he used to. There's, there's like a million channels though, I mean. You can kind of use your own sense of reasoning too, right? It's it's exactly kind of like how, how you can watch me and you can kind of tell whether you should listen to what I'm telling you ab about, you know, how to get better at hots or, or, or not listen to me, you know? Just use your own judgment too and you can decide who seems like more reasonable, who doesn't, that kind of, or at least I did that. I'm just telling you what I did, chat. None of this is financial advice. This is for your entertainment purposes only. If you lose all your money, don't blame me. Have you ever had a stock that tanked really badly? Yeah, I think there was one. God, there was a... Uh, I was into REITs for a while, which were which are like real real estate investment trusts. Basically, it's like owning real estate, but in a stock. So you don't get like as much of the rewards, but you don't have to do any work either. And they pay like good dividend. I was into those for a while. And there was like one called... ARCP or something. It was it was like giving like nine or ten percent dividend when the normal dividend was like three percent or two percent. I was like, holy shit, this is amazing. I don't remember exactly what happened to it, but uh, I don't know. It might have like gone bankrupt or something. I don't know or, or whatever. Like probably lost at least like I don't know eighty to ninety percent of whatever I put into that one. Now luckily it wasn't much. I guess what I learned from that was like I didn't really fully understand that company. That was just I just got greedy, you know. It was just, it was just like something that was like really high yield, it, and you're like, oh my god, that's too good to be true. It is too good to be true if you think it's too good to be true. Trying to 
try to stay away from uh, that sense. I basically all I learned was like my really basic high school or a college level of evaluating stocks was pretty good. But they but but people. you know, the second I got like too greedy and went into something I didn't really understand, it was not good. I need to pull back. But I would say the overwhelming majority of my stuff has been good. Just because I've been in the market for a long time. And like chances are if you're in the market for a long time and you just buy companies that don't suck shit, like you're gonna it's gonna be good over the long term, you know. You don't know why I don't know why I I invested in Tesla, but I made big bucks. I don't know why Arc Tank, but I lost ninety percent. Oh, I do know why. I, I didn't say that. Um, I do know why. For both of them. I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty details though, because most people wouldn't even understand. You know, if I if I say something like you know ARCP lost all their money because they're you know they they were offering a t insane dividend, they couldn't keep it up. You know, no more money to grow, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I mean, some people would understand, but most people aren't interested in that kind of stuff. So I'm not gonna like go into the nitty gritty, but I do understand why both things happened. At least, uh, I think I do. Yo, yeah, welcome back, uh, Alsan. Stupid Vitos keep decloaking me, man. I'm pissed. Yeah, I'm sucking. Good luck, guys. Are you picking a fight without me? Not on my watch. This game wasn't on me, right? I feel like I feel like I got distracted again, but I don't know. I have a good amount of soak. Didn't die. Surely this one can't be on me. Enemy is attacking your core. AFK. Yeah, but I was AFK soaking. I mean I need I need to be AFK soaking most of the time anyways. You just kinda need to do that. Your core is under attack. A lot of people think the market is late trading. Long term is really how you need to make money. Yeah, I agree with that. I do think it's mostly long term. And you need to make have money to make money. I actually don't agree with that one fully. I think that's a very misleading thing. That is, I feel like, a very big reason why people never start investing. And I don't know. It's like something that keeps them. I don't agree with that one. Because I did not have money when I started investing. When I started investing, I was like a broke-ass college kid with like very little. I think maybe I had like two two grand or something, just life savings, you know, from from like all the red packets and all the like random ass part time jobs I've ever worked at through my entire life. I like maybe maybe two grand life savings, which I would not say is like having money. Uh, not when you're like you know twenty years old, nineteen twenty as your life saving. It's okay, but it's nothing special.
30% of the US has zero savings. Yeah, I, I saw that stat. But but the thing is, that's biased, you know? That doesn't mean they cannot have no savings whatsoever. That means they have no savings. Uh, you read that stat and you think that, you know, they're like literally poverty level, can't save any money at all. And I'm sure some of them are like that, but I don't think, like, it's, it's, it's biased because it's not all of them are like that. Some people, a lot of people, could be making, like, more money than you or me, but they just spend all of it. You know, like, people in the six figures. Like, like a lot of people making six figures also have zero in savings. But they're making six figures, it's because they spend all of it, so it's different. Uh, my point is, like, I was, like, a ferocious saver. I was, like, extremely frugal, never spent any money ever. Ever! And I managed to like have 2k by the time I was like 20, which which is really not much. That's that should not be anything that's like, oh my god, I'll never have that. Like if you're working part-time jobs, you know, and stuff like that, like that's that's achievable. It's easily achievable. And you don't even need 2k, honestly. Like, you could be like change the number. If it's just like a hundred dollars. Or fifty dollars. Like it could be literally close to nothing. Uh, my point is that uh, you can start with almost nothing, and it'll still make a difference in the long run. Oh, winning chat. We are we are winning. Are we winning? Maybe we're winning. Kobe. Yes. Twelve percent. I don't know if I can do twelve percent. I feel like Li Ming could have done twelve percent though. Brother was full HP and he just comboed nothing. Is me or not? I feel like that Li Ming could have done twelve percent. Fudge! Li Ming, you can still do twelve. It's one combo, bro. One combo. Come on, you can literally one combo. There ain't no way! Okay, we lost. Bro, there ain't no way. But he was like over here and he threw a combo here at like nothing. What? When the core was 12% no core. That was kind of weird, you know? That, that was a very questionable. He was literally like, oh man, unlucky. Full HP too. And he had a lot of mana. Full HP, like good mana, unlucky. Okay, that was definitely like leaving misplaying at the court at the end there. Multiple times. It's all good though. I did need to lose some anyways, cause like, uh, you know, we have an extra week to clown around.